What's up guys, I'm Cyantrell, and this is Minecraft. Today, I've got a little bit planned, and I'm actually not going to be working on the ice farm. Well, at least not yet. I use an absolute ton of this stuff right here. It's become really difficult to actually get it in enough quantities that I can use. So I built a little contraption. So I'm going to head down into my mine, and I'm going to show you what I've got built so far. Um, I've got a little bit ready, and I'm kind of excited to show you. So I can take a few of these blocks, and I can place them with four spaces between each other. And when I get to this end, we can pull back, and we're just going to pretend that there's a certain amount of time has passed. I'll push the button, and then this flying machine is going to go through, and it's going to pick up all of the items. Um, that means I'm not going to have to go through and break these blocks. This is going to be my copper oxidation station. Uh, it's going to get all the way down here, and I'm not going to have to worry about picking up all the different blocks, and I can just break it in one spot. This was a lot of fun to make, but I was running into an issue right here with some piston quasi-connectivity quasi issues, excuse me, and it caused the whole thing to break. I fixed it by flipping my flying machines around and just messing with my timings. That way they weren't powered when they shouldn't be powered. So yeah, I'm really excited with how these turned out. I'm going to go ahead and split all these up and duplicate them. And then I'm going to pull back and I'm going to talk to you guys about my design process for what I'm planning on doing with this room. Because I think it's going to be pretty cool. I have made a little bit of progress. I got all of these duplicated over and they are ready to go and they're all duplicated. I actually did run into an issue with up here. Uh, these slabs were causing the pistons to... Uh, be powered and it was just messing up the machine so they would have had to have perfectly done it which would theoretically be fine but I wanted to double check and make sure because I'm not sure that these flying machines are going to go off especially since I'm using that repeater up there so they're going to be a little bit staggered in their delivery so now let's go ahead and test it Well, I did not have enough copper to test it all the way, so I will just, I'll break you, and I'll just put you over here, and that's, that's good enough. As you can see, it's already working, because it's already starting to oxidize, so we're just going to come back here, and we're just going to give a little test. These pistons are going to go be extremely loud, and then they're going to pick up all of my copper and deposit it down at the back. It seems to all be working. So we're just going to cross our fingers and hope that this part doesn't break. Okay. It's... Looks like it worked. Looks like it del delivered all the copper. They're returning. Oh, there's no stuck copper. Oh, it's beautiful. It makes me feel like I actually know a little bit about redstone and that I'm not a complete idiot. Just a little bit of an idiot. So I actually completely forgot that I helped a friend set up a farm by giving him a villager. He left us some Totems of Undying, and I definitely appreciate it. I actually think that I'm going to go head over, and I'm going to check out his shop. Ah, you know, I'm betting it's the giant golden totem that sells the totems. Since I'm here, I might as well just stock up. Uh, dude, no ender chest, no payment. Hang on. Um, we'll just give him this. These are needed. Anyways, it's crossbows, mob heads, and saddles. Buy one, get one, one diamond a totem. Okay. I have plenty of diamonds. That's, that's, that's great. I don't think I have an empty shulker box. Give me, give me just a sec. I'll rob my own store and this will be fine. Whoa! I... Doesn't look like I'm going to be robbing my own store. Um, I'm going to need to restock. Oh, awesome. Uh, I don't know that I have any shulker boxes to restock it with. So, uh, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can find a different shulker box somewhere else. Problem solved. I have returned with a shulker box. Alright, I can go in here, and I've got 
uh, it's math. Mm. Um, it's one for two, so I can take that many for two. Mm. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna cut ahead to the end, and I'll just show you guys how many I buy, and they'll be organized. I have bought a shulker box full. This is all, and I have one extra, because it's buy one, get one, and you know what? We're not losing money here today, baby. So I've got this in my ender chest, and we're ready to go. Turtle Tech, enjoy these diamonds. Um, I have no idea who bought my shulker boxes, but uh, thanks. Um, I just got a bunch of free totems because of it, so thanks. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and check all of my other shops. I don't really know of anything that's been sold, but it can't hurt to check. We'll start with the iron shop. Ooh, okay. That's that's a little bit of iron. That's that's good. That's what we like to see. Um, that... Okay, that's nice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I sell those for diamond blocks, not for diamonds. I'm going to need to figure out who bought from this. Because I don't think they can read. Um, we'll get back to this. Because uh, you owe me diamonds. I'm just going to flash forward ahead. Because there were no other sales. Um, but I got a lot of diamonds from the shulker box shop. And from the iron shop. And I've procrastinated long enough. So I should probably go build. Let's. I'm not going to do a time lapse. Just because I find time lapse is really hard to work with now. It's just, I have no motivation to build if I'm under a time lapse, so I kind of want to walk through it with you. So I am back in my copper oxidation station, and I have run into a slight issue. I don't fully know how I want to fix it. Um, I've got a couple options. I, so, alright, so when you drop out of the water elevator, oh, sorry, not there. When you drop out the elevator... You're supposed to walk in and get this really nice view of the copper aging station. I built it with one of the pillars directly in the center of the walkway. So it's just, you're supposed to get like this nice grand view. Instead, you get, and it's, so I've got a couple of options. Option one is to extend out this. I can push it back a block. And I can make it a little bit bigger. Uh, it's going to be massive, but that's honestly not that big of a deal. Or, I shift everything over by two. And I think I'm going to go with knocking the wall out. Because I think that will be less work. And it will end up looking nicer in the long run. So, I'm going to go ahead and shift this over. And then we will see how that looks. So pushing that wall out, much better. Um, it fixed a lot of it. I will, I'll fix the ceiling later. But for now, I'm just going to work on the interior. Um, for now, we're going to come in here and I think we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got this in here and these will help me know where I need to cut my copper because the the pickaxe won't break the wood easily so I can place the copper up against it and it's not going to be a big deal um oh wait a minute okay yeah I can I can turn those into that and I will just break these out and that'll give me wait a minute uh I need each of them to have one two three four five six yes so six places that's one yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Parallel with the observer. Okay. Sorry, I am working this out as we go. I have not put this in a um, a creative world, so this is kind of all redstoning on the fly. Um, so I'll just put this in here. And my goal is to keep it pretty similar to what my storage room is, but... I want it to be a little bit different because I can't have this much copper because it'll mess with the oxidation rates. So let me go through this and then I'll jump back after I get all of these placed. All right, we have all of these placed now and I'm going to go through and I'm going to place in all of these frog lights 
These are going to keep my build lit up, obviously, because they're light sources. And it's also going to let me remove all this ugly torch spam. I want to make sure that there's no mobs that spawn down here because I'll be AFKing for a while. So I'm going to go through and just place a straight line. And I'm just going to put this on all of them. I made a little bit more progress than I originally intended. I ended up going through and placing a lot more blocks than just the lights. But I have most of it redesigned. I have to figure out from here to here on the ceiling. But I'm kind of out of blocks. So my plan is all of these walls are going to need replaced. So I am going to cut out here. And instead of going up to my storage room and getting the extra blocks, I'm just going to use what I remove as I remove these blocks. That way I can kind of save some time. Um, that'll keep me from having to go back and forth and really using blocks I don't need. Well, I got it all swapped out. It's no longer the cobblestone. Now it's snow. I want to try to keep it a fairly simple wall since the floor and the ceiling are so complex. Um, I'm actually not a huge fan of back here with the obsidian and these trapdoors. I kind of want to replace it with a solid block. I might end up replacing it with like the target block. Um, but I think that might end up messing with my redstone and causing that not to work. So we'll workshop it. Uh, ooh. I wonder if I can do, like, redstone torches or something. I, I don't know. Um, I really think I need to add some more, like, lighting to these side areas. Because I'm not a huge fan of, like, these dark S shapes. Like, these little dark shapes in the middle. So I kind of want to add this some more to the walls. So it'll be a little bit more complex, but yet still subtle. But for now... I'm going to head upstairs so that way I can get some copper and have it aging while I'm working on the rest of this room. Ah, every time. Oh, it's finally done. It's finally done. It's finally done. I have finished my room. Uh, I de decorated it in here with copper. You can tell what this room is for. Uh, you come in here, everything's designed, everything's ready, I've got my copper oxidized, we are good to go. I even got to use my favorite block. Look at it. Look at it. Admire it. Stare into the skulk. Look at it. I am super proud of how this room turned out. I love it. It looks great. I'm not- okay, wait. I'm not- I'm not totally happy with the obsidian. I- I have some things that I wish it could be better, but the obsidian is growing on me, mostly for the fact that the room is done. I can age my copper now. This is super fun. I All you have to do is come back here. Thank you for sleeping. All you have to do is come back here and push these buttons. Either one works. You can spam it. Does not matter. Um, the flying machines are going to fly out, and I'm actually going to run up here because I'm faster than the flying machines. And you can see the copper all gets pushed to the end. It's super easy to break. The flying machines light up these new redstone lamps, not torches, and send everything back. And all of my copper is ready to break. So I think that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to enjoy breaking all of this copper. I'm going to go slow and just enjoy the sound of copper breaking as this is the sound of hard work did i mess up a light of hard work finally paying off it has been about a day and a half since i recorded my first half of this video and i found out that wait not that one that turtle tech has came back and made right on the sale you didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. Thank you for your diamonds. Uh, this just means I- oh, speak of turtle tech. This just means I get to go buy even more of your totems. Well, with all of that building done and the copper oxidation station ready, I think this is a good place to call it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. See ya!
Now that's satisfying.